G'day Blues fans and uh, welcome here to another edition of Blue Tube. Uh, it's a special edition of Blue Tube this week. It's the grand final edition of Blue Tube this week. We're here today uh, at Amy Stadium, which was the scene of our preliminary final win over the Bays on Sunday. I'm here with uh, club captain Jade Sheedy and club coach Luke Norman. Uh, Normo, firstly to you, um, first year in uh, as a league coach, mate, must be an exciting week for you. Yeah, no, really looking forward to it. We um, we got a bit a bit excited and a bit emotional after the game, but um, um, and that just posed to to go with the excitement that uh, comes with the prelim win. Um, Monday night we went through the footage and um, you know we started our preparation towards this week. And Sheeds, um, mate, been here before, done this in 2002. Obviously, the same side, different personnel, of course. Only a few of our boys left, of course, but a few are there still. Um, things how are they how are they different compared to 2002. Uh, actually, I was thinking before they're pretty similar. We've got a um, a really good uh, list at the moment. I think we've got some um, you know good old fellas and uh, you know a really good mix of blokes that have played 60, 80, 100 games now. You know, you Scooter, Scooter McGlon and uh, James McClay, Michael Code that have played three and four years. And then we've got a great bunch of young kids. So it's a really good mix at the moment and um, very similar to 2002 when you look back on it and. Uh, yeah, hopefully the same result, mate. Absolutely. And uh, Normo, I know you've been asked this question a million times in the press conference this morning, um, and we don't want to canvas our injuries too much for obvious reasons, but um, the big ones being obviously uh, Chambo and, and Thur uh, Toby Thurston's. Um, maybe just a bit of an update on them and uh, where they sit in the pecking order this week. Yeah, look, Chambo, uh, Monday night, last night was um, training pretty hard. So Wednesday night he'll come out and do a full session with us and um, we'll put him through his paces again and just see how he pulls up after that. But we won't take a risk on him. If he's got any soreness there, we won't we won't play him. So I, I think he's still 50-50 at this stage. I think um, Toby's uh, got a bit of um, bruising in his bone, in his knee. So we'll rest him Wednesday and train him Saturday and, and just see how he pulls up Saturday. But he should be fine. And uh, Sheeds, as far as um, we spoke about in the press conference, there's uh, quite a few uh, young guys obviously in our team this year. Probably a younger group this year would be a major difference between this year and 2002, where we had some fairly, fairly decent experience in the side. Yeah. Um, I guess this week, the onus is on guys like you and Nello and Chamber and so forth to get around the boys and just uh, show them how it's done. Yeah, Norma asked to speak to the boys last night and, and we had a, we had a chat with the group and just said let's keep everything pretty normal uh, at the end of the day. You know, it's, it is just another game. We're still got to get the footy, and that's what you know wins the game. So you know we don't want blokes playing the game, um, you know, before Sunday. And and I don't think the group will. We've got a very level-headed group and very mature group, although it's young. Um, yeah. So uh, that was just the message, and yeah, looking forward to Sunday. And mate, a few of the boys around the club are likening you to Leo Barry and uh, Alex Jezelenko during the week, mate. It was a big grab. You want to tell us how high you got? Oh, I think I got about. Or maybe three centimetres off the ground, which is the highest I've got for a while. No, no, I just, Cody had two of them there and I just seen an opportunity and uh, just had a go at it and lucky enough it stuck. So it was nearly as good a highlight as uh, Cody's 85 metre bomb? Like it's 90, Cody's saying, isn't it, Norway? No, uh, yeah, no, that was a great kick, wasn't it? And that's just, um, Cody to a tee, he takes responsibility on his shoulders and he, he goes back and if he thinks he can do it, he, he, he does it and uh, he's a brilliant player. And I guess uh, just to both of you, um, to either of you who want to answer this, obviously we've had a lot of support during the year for, uh, for obviously these segments of Blue Tube, but a lot of support from, from the Sturt supporters. Um, matter of getting as many down there as we possibly can on Sunday and uh, turn Amy into a sea of double blue and uh, get behind the boys. Yeah, even Wednesday night at training would be great. We're, we're going to put on a barbecue and um, some drinks and so forth, so it would be great to get a uh, big crowd down there and just get around the boys and just soak in the atmosphere. It'd be good for these fellas to have, have that type of atmosphere and train in front of it and make sure that they get to the game on Sunday because these these blokes are going to have a real red hot go at it. Jade means a bit to the boys? Oh, it means everything to the boys. Um, you know, we you got to be in it to win it and we've put ourselves in this position and, um, you know, the boys are very excited after the game. Straight away, Norma called us into the rooms and, you know, said we've got bigger fish to fry, as they say, and, uh, you know, we're putting a lot of focus into this week and, yeah, oh, it means everything. Grand final, you don't get to playing them that often I guess and um, we're trying to create our own history here at the footy club and you know trying to create a dynasty I guess and uh, yeah she starts Sunday. Absolutely and uh, boys thanks for your time uh, during the year particularly obviously yourself Normo giving up your time on Monday nights to uh, support Blue Tube uh, hopefully we'll be doing a uh, post grand final very happy Blue Tube uh, next Monday or Tuesday night if either of us are uh, okay to speak. <laughs> um, now before we forget um, we've got our major sponsor with us today Nick Guy and Nick if you'd like to come in he's got a bit of a presentation here to, uh, to make to Luke now uh, looks like we've got some uh, some lovely 2007 VAT1 Jurif here from uh, De Bordley Wines. Um, Nick did you want to say a couple of uh, words and let us know what this is all about mate? 
Luke, a few weeks ago we gave you some uh, some medicine to try and uh, I believe it's working so um, just a little bit for this time and uh, maybe some more on Sunday night. Good luck. <laughs> thanks Nick. And all the best. Thanks mate. Good Thank you, you very much. No worries and uh, thanks to everyone as I said for your support this year and uh, we'll, uh, we'll sign off and uh, good luck to the Blues on Sunday.